All right, we're going to talk a little bit about the Bipolar 2400 from Air Oasis. I've talked a lot about it on the podcast, but I want to show you a little bit more about it and how it's installed. All right, so a couple quick things. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but a couple quick things to show you. The main thing that I like about Air Oasis is not only do they make it in the USA, but they source all of the components that they can get from the USA as much as possible. It's one of the most USA-made IAQ products out there. Um, it, this particular product is ozone-free, so you don't have to worry about that and it installs directly in the equi equipment very easily. It's probably the easiest to install and lowest maintenance IAQ product on the market today. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice about this is how small it is. So it really is very easy to install and manage. It's got two high power magnets on the back, high power earth magnets. So it sticks to a blower housing really easily. And you'll notice here it says airflow. And so what that means is you want the airflow going into the blower running across these brushes. Generally speaking, you're gonna mount this next to the blower. You want it as close to the supply ductwork as you can get. So if there's a way for you to mount it past an evaporator coil or something like that uh, in a reasonable way, then you can do that. Um, because what happens is this thing produces ions that go out into the airstream, both positive and negative ions, and you want those ions to bond with any contaminants that are in the air and even on surfaces once it gets into the home. This comes with four wires to it. You'll see right here, you've got four wires. You've got a black, a red, and then two brown. Now these two brown wires are actual contacts, so that way you can wire them up to an indicator light or something if the system powers down or whenever it's energized, you can you know use it to power uh, a light or something like that to show when it's on versus off. That's probably the most practical use of that. In most cases, I'm just gonna leave these two brown, kind of dark red brownish wires capped off. And then you have your two 24 volt wires on this model. They do make an 120 volt and a 240 volt model as well, but we generally use the 24 volt model. It has an inline fuse, which you see right here. So that way it is independently fused, which keeps you code compliant and also protects the device itself, which is very nice. The one thing with the orientation across the brush is you don't want the airflow coming across one brush to the other because then the ions will tend to neutralize each other. You want them blowing straight into the airstream. And the easiest way to do that generally is just to mount this with the magnets right to the side of the blower housing so that way the air runs across as it goes into the blower housing. Another thing to think about with these is that these at the 24 volt rating uh, draw 400 milliamps. 400 milliamps is 0.4 amps. And a typical 40 VA transformer is gonna give you about 1.66 amps to work with, which means that connecting this to the existing equipment transformer is something you may or may not wanna do, depending on what the low voltage circuit amperage is drawing on your equipment. So you'll wanna analyze that. In the case of this installation here, we've installed a separate secondary transformer, 24 volt transformer to power this. In this case, we've wired our red and our black, which is our 24 volt power feed to our bi bipolar 2400 directly to the secondary of the transformer, so that's the 24 volt side, so that way it's got its own independent power supply. The next thing to, to show you here is that whenever you do run wires to one of these, you wanna make sure that you're running them with grommets if you're going through any metal. So we've installed a little grommet here, so that way these don't chafe or uh, cause any abrasion. And then the actual mounting of this is super simple. Okay, so you can see this is mounted just right to the side of the blower housing here. These magnets are like serious magnets. So. All it does is just mounts right there, and then the airflow runs across it that direction, which is exactly what we're looking for. And I can mount it on the side here if I want it, or wherever it fits best, but that isn't gonna go anywhere. And you can see over here, we've capped off the two contact wires because we're not using a separate indicator light to show that it's on or off outside of the equipment. One thing a lot of techs will ask is, how do you know if it's working? Now, if the light's on, then you can be pretty certain that it's working. If you feel over top of the brushes, you can actually feel an airflow over top of these brushes, which proves that you're creating ions. Another question that a lot of people ask is, what is the maintenance on these? Under normal conditions, these brushes are gonna stay pretty clean because again, they're just emitting ions. In high contamination environments, you may build up a little ball on top of them, and all you have to do is just shut off the power and then just basically just wipe the little ball of dust off the top of the brushes. That's essentially all there is to it. These things last a really long time. They're very simple devices, and they work well to help 
reduce especially particular contaminant inside of a condition space. We have one of these in our classroom and we tested particulate before and after installation and we did see a reduction in small particulates in the PM 2.5, which is very, very small particulates. So that's it, the Bipolar 2400 by Air Oasis. We use them here at Kalos. To find out more, go to airoasis.com forward slash go. That's airoasis.com forward slash go. Thanks for watching.